Hey guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Heather, if you're new, thanks for stopping by. I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about life, food, family, fun. So that's makeup, parenting, marriage, food tips, product reviews, all that kind of stuff. So I hope you'll consider subscribing. Today we're gonna to be checking out a charcoal teeth whitening strip that is supposed to whiten your teeth without any of the sensitivity and work just as great as Crest whitening strips. So, wanna see if it works? Stay tuned and let's do this. Okay, so if you haven't seen my previous video on the charcoal toothpaste and the powder, I will link that in the cards above. And to me, it did work about one shade on my teeth, um, but it's super messy. And if you have an electric toothbrush, just make sure you put that toothbrush in your mouth before you turn it on, or you will have black powder everywhere, all over you. So it's really, really messy. So when I saw these black diamond strips, they look exactly like the Crest Whitening strips, except they're black. And they're supposed to whiten just as well without all the sensitivity. So I tried it for the full 14 days. You do get two weeks worth for $24 and let's go see if it works. This one is actually the last one and none of the other ones looked like that where there was a separation. Um, this is the only one that's looked like that. But the shape of them is just like the Crest White Strips and it goes on just the same but as I'll show you, it's not nearly as sticky as the Crest White Strips and they slide around a lot, so you really have to be careful not to move it until you get it exactly where you want it and kind of gently press it in so that it doesn't move around because it will slide around quite a bit. So here we go. Okay, I'm gonna put on the bottom one first. So you just peel it off like that. Again, this is the only one that's looked like that. So, it doesn't stick. It doesn't stick super easily. I mean, once you get it on, it's fine, but it does slide around a little bit. Then, top one. Get it on, stay. Yeah. It just wants to fall off. Also, I can't talk like this. Okay, so um, now you can scare your children and look like Night of the Living Dead for 30 minutes. And I'll see you in 30 minutes. Okay, I'm back. So I had to brush my teeth and then I had to go in with floss to get like things that were still stuck in there, the black that was in there. So it's definitely, you know, time consuming and you know, you gotta walk, brush your teeth. But even with the white strips, you still have to brush your teeth because that gel is on there. It's just this one you can actually just see. So my final opinion is if you struggle with sensitivity to the Crest White Strips where it's painful, this has absolutely no sensitivity whatsoever. I did not notice a single bit of pain with it. What I will say is that it lightens one to two shades at the most, I think. It doesn't do as good of a job as Crest White Strips, but it is gonna give you a little bit of lift. I use 3D Optic White Crest Toothpaste with it to give it a little bit of an extra boost. And then to keep your teeth whiter, use a straw unless you're drinking coffee, um, warm coffee. But if you do drink coffee, hot coffee or hot tea that's brown, brush your teeth right after and then use a straw if you can. Um, a metal straw, reusable one if you don't wanna use straws that you have to throw away. But that will help maintain this. So it is good for those who are really sensitive, but it's not gonna give you like three or four shades lighter it's going to give you one to two but still kind of if you're if you're okay with the messiness of it um not a bad purchase
Okay, so there you have it. Again, it does whiten one or two shades in my opinion. I don't think it works as well as the Crest whitening strips. However, if you're not looking for some huge change, you just wanna kind of brighten it up every few months or so, this will do the trick and there is no sensitivity at all. Plus, as a bonus, I mean, these things look scary. And so, you know, you can scare your kids. You could use these on Halloween to scare all the trick-or-treaters while you're whitening your teeth. I mean, being a mom is all about multitasking. So I did find these to be slightly less messy, except when you take it off, it's really gross. There's like black slime all over your teeth that you definitely have to wash off. But it is less messy than the powder going everywhere. That's for sure. But I think it works about the same. So if you like the charcoal powder and the toothpaste, you might like these and give them a try. I will have in the description box below a link to the website. It's not sponsored, I don't get anything for it. Um, it's just so you can have easy access to it. But you can try this out if you like the other stuff. I think you'll like this. Otherwise, I hope this was informative. If it was and you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help more people see it. And otherwise, I hope you are having a great day. Stay inspired and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.